And this week we're going to continue on from where we left off in the last segment. Basically, what we're going to do is finish talking about the interface, specifically saving custom workspaces and also using some workspaces that ship with After Effects. If we go up here to the top, uh, the toolbar here, there's a workspace dropdown. By default, we're using the standard workspace, and things are kind of set up in, uh, well, a standard way. And if we select, for example, Effects, then the interface changes to show us things that we'll use when we're working with Effects. If we want to do Paint, then we click on Paint, and we'll see some uh, Paint panels, the Brushes panel, the Paint panel, and other things that uh, will help us to work with painting. For example, when we paint, we paint in the Layer panel, so the composition is shown here as a reference, and the layer panel is open here as the main panel. So instead of taking all this time to set this up every time you want to paint, you can just click on the workspace, and then After Effects changes everything for you. And then the other half of the coin is that when you're done, I can just click back on the standard workspace, and I don't have to clean up. Can't say that much for painting in the real world. Now, another thing that happens that's cool is that After Effects automatically saves or remembers the changes that you make to workspaces. So let's say, for example, I'm going to go crazy here. I'm going to move the composition panel over this side, and I'll move the info panel in the center, and I'll move the audio panel with the preview panel. I'm just going to mess this thing up royal style. I'll even put the uh, composition panel over here. Look at that. That's a mess. Now, I didn't save it. I didn't do anything else. I just adjusted this. Let's say I go over to maybe the text workspace, and I do some play in there. Then I go back to standard, and you'll see that my changes are still there. So even without saving it, After Effects is remembering what you're doing to every workspace. Now, if at any time you want to restore the workspace back to the way it was when it was created, just go to the Workspace dropdown and select Reset, and then the name of whatever workspace you happen to be using. So if you want to reset Standard, select Reset Standard, and I'm going to discard Changes, and there we go. Now, there might be times, especially if you have maybe multiple monitors or if you're on a laptop where you might have different viewing conditions than the uh, average user, Let's say maybe I like to work with this really big here or whatever. Well, what I could do is go to this workspace and select new workspace. And then it will save this workspace. So anytime I want to have my uh, composition panel really big, I could just go and jump to that workspace. Again, folks, just like looking at the interface basics, workspaces are nothing as cool as making fire-breathing dragons. But uh, again, if you really want to make those fire-breathing dragons and make them well, then you need to know about the interface and how to use workspaces also. Next, we're going to look at project files and After Effects and how they work. It's a little bit more complex than it might seem.